Hello everyone and welcome in. I screwed my settings up, so we're gonna be playing something I wasn't planning on doing. So we'll see how this goes. I actually don't quite know. I saw a 120 second turn timer, so I screwed up my settings somehow. We're gonna play it, whatever it is. I think it's fixed capitals, honestly. I meant for so many different things to happen here. Uh, we're purple, probably going to cap in here. It's gonna depend what these guys do. Um, we're playing classic. Capital Conquest, 120 second turn timers, accident. AI was supposed to be expert. This was supposed to be 60. Uh, Fog and blizzards are supposed to be on. Uh, bots are automated. So it was supposed to be, so it's fixed cards. It was supposed to be 60 seconds, expert AI, and progressive capitals on classic. But we're doing fixed with 120 seconds, I guess. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> What's up, Matt? What's up, Ganon? What's up, Toy Man Sam? Caps here, we, yeah, I completely screwed, I don't know what happened, I think I, I know what I did. <clears throat> I had it on world domination, and then I put all the settings I wanted on it properly, and then I'm like, wait, I meant to do capitals, so I, at the top, I changed it to capitals, and I guess it reset all the other settings, which I, I think that's stupid for it to do that. By the way, Europe with these blizzards is a two-point hold, like, if you get a cap in Ukraine, Imagine someone has a cap in Ukraine and someone has one in Western Europe and they fight. <clears throat> so blue's going to cap here. He's going to long-term go for this. Uh, red, pink, and blue go before me. So my cap would be safe here, but he's going to go North Africa. So I'm going to have to expand into North America. Do we... Yeah... So for a second, I thought about doing the Japan capital and zero carding for a while, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna play like that. No, not happening. You're thinking like a gorilla. I am. <laughs> True. My uh, my name right now, Gorilla Warfare. And yes, yes, there's more than one spelling for gorilla. Before someone's like. <laughs> Before someone's like, you doofus, that's not the right spelling for the situation. Hanny, thank you. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Two months we've been together, Hanny, you and me, on this channel and subscribed. And uh, thank you for the Leroy, the 300 bits, bro. I had a feeling... Okay, so I knew yellow was going to go here. I had a feeling black was going to go here and do a black-blue fight. So I need to pay attention to pink. And who's who else are we missing? Pink and red, and this. If I can expand through here and nobody's really in North America, like, North America and South America is a two-point guard, if you see what I'm looking at long-term. Um, because of this blizzard. Well, don't roll my three, that would be stupid. Okay, roll something else. Good boy. Okay. I can't believe the settings. 120-second turn timers. Boys, we might be in for a long one today. I did not mean for that. <clears throat> What's up, Freeze? <laughs> it better be a YouTube video. I want my Leroy's to be famous. I mean, if the game's good, it goes there. I don't have to win. I just... It has to be fun and interesting. Me screwing up the settings is a great way to start a YouTube video, you know? What's up, PogChamp? Happy New Year, bro. Yeah, that's the... I get, like, super motivated on something, like... Risk, for example, I pump out two months straight of a video every day, streaming three, four times a week. And then the Christmas holidays, I have like a break. And I do a ton of family stuff, and then I'm exhausted. Get that seven out of my bonus. Oh. Well. Let me see. Need to be smart about all this. I'm just going to look at it, see if he knows what's going on here, what way the wind's blowing. Lose one troop, okay. Yeah, so I take a break for a week, I do a lot of family stuff, I'm exhausted, go out for New Year's Eve, get have a great time. I'm exhausted from that and I'm like, now nah, I haven't done Risk in like a week, I haven't played, haven't streamed. And I'm like, just got to 
jump back in. And I went to go stream this morning, and we had like ET, Speedster, JJ, Pete, and Spud on. We had five big Risk streamers on at the same time, so I'm like, uh, maybe I'll go on tonight. I want to know where red and uh, pink, where red and pink caps are. So there's a standoff here. There's going to be a standoff here. Red needs to get out of my bonus and hit this four. Yeah, yellow. Are you going to take this as turn? He's also got a decent two-point guard on. Oh my god, he is going to take it. One more roll. He did take it. If he got a terrible roll and this is free and red hits that, maybe I can come in. No, 14's way too much. This guy, Pibe Oro, 1987. That's a cool year. Can't tell you why. We got two Americans. We got Yakir. We got three Americans. Oh, God. We got to kill the Americans. The Celtic games are always fun, at least for us. I hope this is a good game. How many turns until Black Slams Blue? Do you think Black Slams Blue or Blue Slams Black? I would do a poll, except we won't necessarily know for sure if my four dies, we won't be able to tell who did it. We'll only be able to make a good guess. You're guessing round four, black slams blue. Okay. We are round two now. Red needs to hit this four or risk... Like, if I'm a stupid noob, I will hit a seven. So if he's thinking, uh-oh, I'm playing with a stupid noob, I better get my seven out of the way or I'll lose it. Like, if I'm red, I'm probably adding here and hitting the four. Yeah, nine on four is 100%. I think he does it. He goes in! I hit him with an oops. Hmm, I want to keep my three up there. There's a fly in my room? Are you serious? I haven't seen a fly in like six months. How in the... I don't understand it. I'm completely lost. I'm tripping out. Get out of here! Ah. I'm not fast enough. Yo, it's a good thing I came back. <laughs> I didn't realize it was still my turn. Hundred, thank you, 120 second turn timers. Thank you for saving me there. <laughs> oh, red is going to make my game suck. This is very unfortunate for me. Him making that a nine was perfect to roll the nine on four and get out. He's really asking for me to roll him, though. And I can't, because he's about to get eight troops or something. Yeah. He'll be able to have, like, whatever he wants here. Red adding any troops in here and staying in here is just so dumb. Because as soon as I get a trade, I'm hitting it, no matter what the stack is. Because I need to come through here and start working my way up here. I need to pay attention. Does anybody have Europe? Very important. Nobody's got it yet. So yellow came out this way. That fly needs to die. What do I have? On my desk. Yeah, I, I do want to keep the Japan just so I can see what's going on. I'd like to see what's up here. If somebody like makes an entry into, into here or if like a big stack comes out of North America, then I know there's a cap in Alaska. Blue rolls into black. Before black rolls into blue, on turn three. I'm wondering if black's on, I hope, I bet you there's a cap on Siam. We're gonna see it right now. Okay, I did not get him, and I looked directly into the light. I'm like Donald Trump, man, when the, when the sun, the sun was up there and we were having the eclipse, and then he's like, I'm going to look directly at that because I'm kind of stupid.
Use your excellent key go keyboard hands to kill the fly. I'm actually really good at catching a fly if it's landed on a desk in front of me. But this is one of those annoying ones that's flying around. Landed directly on the white light, though. I will kill you before stream ends. You will die. I have currently only 14 witnesses, but that's a lot. It's a lot for the start of the stream. Red. Red is really asking to die. This is a really stupid move. So I could theoretically take this cat with uh, and hold it and get in on that action. Say I have a 7 here. He rolls a 12 on 7. Blue trades on 3 and comes back in. I need to fully be ready for this. And I have a big trade on three. Red stack is gone now. Moron. Come on, fly. Land on the wall or something. Make it easy for me. How is there... It's January 2nd in Canada. I haven't seen a mosquito or a fly since, like, September? How is there a random house fly in my house? It came in my Amazon box or something? And if he hits that, he's got a one-point guard. You're going to die. Need a book or something. Scared of flies? I am not scared of flies. They just... You got one buzzing around your head when you're streaming or trying to play a game? It's really annoying. The, the worst part is me stacking my cat makes him feel threatened, so he's going to put more troops here. Well... <clears throat> Red's about to lose his troops. I actually would get the plus two on Peru, too, if I already had this bonus. <laughs> if I get a good roll, don't put a lot. Okay, 20 is fine. <laughs> I should four on... Oh, man, wait. I could trade... And take a... Oh, that's disgusting. That would be really bad. Hey, what's up, Tease? <laughs> Gando, I screwed up the settings. I had... Okay, so it was accidentally on World uh, Domination. I set all the settings I wanted. I wanted to play the same settings Spud plays on, on this map. Because it's fun. And then I, I set the settings. I went back out and I'm like, Oh, I had it on World Dom. So I clicked Capital Conquest and clicked Start. And I guess switching it to Capital Conquest just erased all my settings I made and gave me the default. Which, I think that's really poor design. So it's not only fixed caps, it's medium AI and 120 second turn timers. Super screwed up. Yeah, Red being a dick, he's kind of being... Uh, that That is incredibly poor play, to be nice. Blue's bought it out? Yeah, okay. That's why you never change game settings? Something like this happened? Yeah, you just leave it on caps permanently and you're good to go, right? Okay, did somebody... Dave got 10. Dave has Europe now. So I know pink cap is probably Western Europe or Ukraine. And pink now has Europe. Or maybe it's Northern Europe, which is also not terrible. Any of these three spots. Although I would prefer one of these two. I wouldn't really want to cap on Western Europe. So I could... Red has a cap somewhere, and he's doing this. You better believe... Oh my god, I want to kill you so bad. Do I take the Australian cap?
What is smart? I'm being greedy because the settings are screwed up and I'm mad at the world. We're being greedy. By the way, Knickknack... Knickknack Gaming, thank you for the follow. One shot... Oh, shit. One shot and Gumber. Thank you guys for the resubs. You know I haven't, you know I haven't streamed in a week or two when the resubscribes are coming in. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah, and fix this doesn't seem... But the problem is, if he trades on three and hits that, I lose this position, and then I'm also really weak over here. Okay, he did something else. It's just two extra troops for me every turn. There's no point in me letting him have a one cap. If it's that free for me. Hope you are well, buddy. Have a good stream. I'd be lurking. Thanks, man. Working on that stream, baby? Yeah, seven months. Oh, okay. Yellow. You just chill with your big boy stuff. This is a seven. Knocking me out of Japan? Dude, that's not nice. This is going to be a long one. Oh, I am so upset that the settings changed. Blue has no cap. Wait. No trade. Or do trade. Somebody took blue cap, and blue might have a little here, but is only here, maybe? Okay, I'm glad he's trading. Maybe he hits the 14 for me? Blue ended Central America with a 2. He could make it a 15 and hit. I mean, that it's medium. It's definitely not going to do that. Medium AI does not do attacks like that. I wonder if red trades and goes up looking for a blue kill. Blue's cap is what black's on, remember? Oh, you're right. I'm stupid. What am I what am I missing? Red's cap is the one I don't know where it is, right? Pink's is Ukraine or Western Europe. Red's cap is Alaska, maybe? If I had to guess, I would say Red's cap is somewhere up here. Pink starts with 10, trades for 10. Blue got the 12 er Does Black Cap worry you since your main cap isn't in a great position? Um, honestly, everything about this game right now worries me. Because Black's going to trade on four, probably. We're going to presume he's got the big trade. Which, actually, I got the big trade on three, which is very odd. New year, new, new year, new me. It's not about dudes. This is the year of the big trade on three. I really want this 15 to get out of here. He's less scared of me hitting it now that I put all my stack over here. I'm actually getting closer to a card block as well. Although it is fixed, so a card block wouldn't kill me, kill me, but... Especially, like, say this is my last card and I get an infantry and then I trade and then I just zero card with my double caps. And that was the trade. And the suicide. What? I hate this game. That is, uh... I don't even have statistics on that. That roll is so bad, I don't think I have statistics on that. A 23 cap. A 35 stack is 33%. What is a 30 on 23? What is a 30 on 23? Like 10%? Not e no, it's less than 10. It's like 5%? Well, that's disgusting. Get me out of this game. We'll just go next. I accidentally played a great setting. Very big brain zombies. Fog. Semi-auto. Uh, progressive on Central America. 10 out of 10 recommend. Okay. I haven't actually tried semi-auto yet. 
What's that, panties? You missed the roll? Bro, he rolled a 30 on a 23. A capital. 35 on 23 is 33%. So he's five troops less than 33%. It's like... I, I, I honestly want to make a lobby after this and just check the percentage. Like, it's 30 attacking, so it's a 31 stack versus a 23 cap. I'm going to go check that after. Cap dice is messed. It is when people are doing the 100% rolls where they lose less. That guy just hit like a god luck. It's 7%? Yeah, okay. He hit me with a 7% roll. And it worked. And somebody should come in here and kill him, surely. He's not going to recover from that. The worst part is I can't actually hit this red 15 right now. Because I'm going to be dead. Yeah, that's the thing with, with odds, though. 7% has to happen once in a while. Oh, he's getting out. I'm not taking the bonus. I'm going to make sure I get a card. Oh, we got a wild. All right. I... <clears throat> Maybe I should have took the bonus and then just zero carded forever. I didn't know I was going to get a wild, though. Black starts with nine. Why? Why did that work? Why are you alive? Yellow starts with 8 still. Uh, pink's still getting 10, so he still has Europe. Alright, well, I definitely misplayed this game. At least we finally got right out of here. What's up, Newt? <clears throat> Still here, never gonna leave here? What's up, good hair? Blink three times if you need help. I'm tired, man. I didn't get much sleep last night. I'm doing a late stream with a very bright light in my eyes. So I'm gonna be blinking a lot. My eyes twitching. So we're, we're, we're stuck in a game with settings I didn't mean for, uh, mean for us to have. But if we win, it'll just be another great comeback story, because we're really fucked right now. <laughs> Yellow's got another 30 or 40 stack here. Pink's up here with like 40, or, or sorry, like 60 troops or something. More, maybe. Like, there's a lot of, these two probably have 60 to 70 troops each, right? I'd say red. He's only been getting five a turn, but I'd still say red's probably up there in the 50 plus. Right, because I'm 20 whatever troops down. 23 troops from that roll, right? That was disgusting. You're a little off. The roll was 9%. 30 attacking troops into a 23 is 9 Is that a balanced blitz or true random 9% roll? Did you, though? You misplayed the settings, but I see not a lot wrong with the play. Uh, it's just like not knowing this. Okay, black capping behind blue here should have told me he's also the moron that rolls the caps with 7% blitz rolls. So in knowing that, I should have full committed to this position and that's it. So th I think that was my giant misplay. And I I'm 100% at fault for that. That was my New Year's Eve. It was pretty fun. I uh, went to a friend's house. Uh, a bunch of us played some cards, we played some Jackbox games, we got drunk, we are shooting the shit, having a good time. Some games there's no way out. Are you coming back in, bro? Alright.
Red started with 10. He's got North America. Okay, so my game's over. I just have to uh, go all in on red here. He's going to break me. I'm going to come in and leave a stack here. Hope yellow doesn't kill me. Go to war with red and then die soon. Shortly after that. I mean... Or... I just card trade with red forever and stack my capital? You got an idiot who attacks near a cap and an idiot who rolls caps. You had to pick your poison. <laughs> yeah! I was kind of screwed either way. I'm just like, I, 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 I don't want to blame all the external factors as to why I'm in a really bad spot. I probably could have done some things different. F these settings. How was the smoked meat? The smoked meat was great. It was like uh, two big chunks of pig. Got shit faced on New Year's, took way too much shit, and don't really remember anything. Blue is dead, two yellow. Okay, that's cool. Except for waking up next to one of my girlfriends, but not in a sexual way. Well, I would never think you'd be waking up next to a girl in a sexual way, Panties. So, don't worry, I, di I didn't misunderstand. You got a lot of money for New Year's? That's kind of cool. Yeah, pink is terrifying. It's going to be pink here, yellow here, and red here. If I can just exist down here and be weak, I might have to do a little bit of the Arco strategy. Kilted, shut the fuck up. I'm hot and sexy. You hurt me? I'm sorry, bro. You will get laid. You Maybe you already do. I don't know. I'm just fucking around. Yeah, more smoke meat. Every time we go over there, it's just smoke meat and smoke meat. Hmm. To be fair, I don't mind trading cards here. Oh, he wants to leave a three now. So it's a 25 stack. It could be a 35 stack. I'm still safe. Presumably I'm safe from dying, so I don't need to trade right now. A dude! Triple cannons. With a Brazil, though. I might... Oh, I have Venezuela as well. well I'm not going to get to hold it. I think I'm going to do triple cannon trade. And then I'm going to presumably get a dude or a cannon. And then I'm going to trade a gun and then zero card. With my wild. And we're going to do Arco Strat. And we're going to play for first. I don't think I'll ever fully recover from this. I already have, I already have, so no worries. Okay. So you did recover. You recovered before it even happened. We believe you, Kappa. <laughs> Fred's the best. Fred's getting lots of it right now. Newly married and stuff. We are in quite the holding pattern. By the way, that fly ran away. I don't know where it went, but... Uh... Pink has said, <clears throat> I'm wondering how safe this 25 cap of yellow is and how good his alliance with pink is. Because Pink's been getting a ton of troops. Is he, like, fully stacking Ukraine and just leaving a small border here? Like, are they doing big boy Ukraine and Middle East stacks? And then trading cards in Asia? And how is Black still alive? Nine troops a turn, just full stacking in Indonesia, I bet. Red's cap is probably Alaska. And Pink's cap's probably Ukraine. Oh, they're coming in with the full stack or what?
He doesn't want to leave a three this time. All right. Normally, if you have a wild, you want to do the big trade, but I'm doing the douchebag play right now. So if you're doing the douchebag play, might as well commit. Really want to hit that 33. There we go. Big trade and zero card. We're in it. You're a Jill sandwich right now? What's a Jill sandwich? You scared the fly with your manliness. you damn right. I was flexing on him with my piece of paper that I was... Well, it's a few pieces of paper. What's up, John? You watching while you work on your house? Cool. Yeah, everybody was streaming earlier today, so I thought... Well, I wanted to get on earlier, but then I had stuff to do also, so... I'm like, maybe I'll try to get on tonight. Thanks for the resubscribe, by the way. Nine months, actually. Technically, we've now had a baby, John. It's from Resident Evil? Oh, I haven't played those games. Why zero card if you can get cards, though? It's... You'd have to watch the Arco series. All he does is he caps in Japan, puts all his troops there, and never takes a card forever. And he gets second in every single game. With a lot of opportunities to actually get first. It's kind of silly. But the games take forever. Although I might be in a spot where I'm forced to do that. I don't ever want to be a spot where I'm, like, stuck... So say I trade card, like Red can card block me whenever he wants. He can just stop taking cards here and then I'm stuck. He can take cards in, in Asia. And the second he does that, I'm stuck with whatever amount of cards I have. I'm zero carding and stuck with that amount of cards until the end of the game. Or until Red gets in a fight or whatever happens. But uh, I don't want to be stuck like that with... Well, say I have four cards and no trade. I don't want to be stuck with four cards and just be a juicy target. So I can just be sitting on zero cards. There, he's already not letting me take a card. So here we go. Let's go. How many games has Arco won? So he doesn't take a card even if he can win easily. He just lets it happen. And I think he gets second every single time. He's a master right now from doing... The game starts. Uh, he does manual selection. Everybody tries to take a continent. He takes Japan. And then he takes a cap in Japan. And then puts all his troops on Japan. And then his turn goes, add his troops to Japan and skip turn. And he does that for an hour to two hours. And by the, by the end, there's only one person left after everybody's done fighting. And then he just waits for them to build up and kill him. Because he doesn't take a card. But many times he can win because everybody fights so much he could technically win whenever he wants later in the game. Because he just has such a troop advantage from doing nothing. Uh, Rush fan and CMFS. Uh, welcome, guys, to the channel. Don't tell me that... Yeah, Fred, it's fixed. I screwed up. No one tells Fred it's fixed. You get to... Shit. Don't time me out. Arco is actually a god, though? Is Does he play like that in tourneys? Oh, he's actually good. Yeah, he is good. Does he play like that in tourneys? Uh, I don't believe so. I mean, I think he did a little bit in the Chaos Tournament, but it's the Chaos Tournament, so... Hits it. Hell, oh, he breaks pink! Yellow started with nine and he broke pink. I'm just going to fist bump. We're fine, bro. I'm not hitting you. I am not rolling your cap. I don't care if I have a two to one. I don't care what it is. I'm not rolling your cap. I'm going to have 69 troops in a second. Fixed caps has about as much action as Panty's sex life. Man, what a poor guy. <laughs> Arco must be a patient guy. He's very patient. I am not. But, I mean, theoretically, if we just swap into Arco mode for a few minutes, or an hour, charge up, and then swap back into Kilted at the right moment, that should be like a, 
like a transformer or something. Or is that, that that's Power Rangers, right? Where they mend together and then turn into one thing. Oh, I get seven because I own the continent. This is even better than 69. Red doesn't want to open me. If I get seven per turn infinitely and I don't fight anybody? Yeah, you saw the 71. My math was off, bro. What do I prefer, fixed or prog? Shit, that's hard. I, when I, for the first year I played this game, I would have said progressive, but uh, I've been enjoying fixed more lately. If I'm playing capitals, I pre pre prefer progressive. If I'm playing world dom, I prefer fixed. So zombies and capitals have to be progressive, but world dom I like fixed. At least right now. Transformers 2, five robots mer merge into one big... Okay, okay, nice. I never saw the Transformers movies, so... Seventy percent progressive is fine, yeah. But like, I've been on such a fixed kick in like classic fixed and uh, all these other weird fixed settings I've been joining on like for Sunday snipes and stuff. That I've kind of like I just grown fond of fixed. And like after the Legends finals, like progressive, no trade on four games over. It just it that felt really stupid. Arco must be Swiss. Never fight, just chill. Zombies with fog. Yeah, zombies and fog is a lot of fun. Um, you can't have too big of a map, though. Or it can very easily stalemate. Here we go, 78. I'm not going to hold up my turns, though. <clears throat> I'm glad you guys are here with me, because I would have quit if I was by myself. Like, if I was going to not go live and record this game, I'd be long gone. I would have just restarted with my proper settings. This account's Grandmaster, though. So I'd lose a bunch of points, but. Nine troops. At what point would I attack Yellow's Cap? When maybe one or two more people get eliminated and it's like way low. If it's a 1 or a 5, right now, even if it was a 20 right now, I would not hit it. Because the moment I hit it, yellow's got a shitload of troops over here. I've made an enemy that might suicide me, and I'm already the weakest player. Presumably, if people are fighting, I'm not the weakest player. But uh, seeing red with a 37 here, I know his cap's also really strong. So I know red has many more troops than me. And... Yeah, Pink's got his bonus again. I think Pink and Yellow hit each other a little bit, but not a lot. So they've recovered nicely. They definitely have more troops than me. Maybe Black. Black might be the only person that has lower troops than me. I, w I would say Black definitely... Well, when he took my cap, he might have had like 7 or 10 max. And I had tw like 30 over here, or 25. No, we're probably even or so. Has there been some sort of ladder reset? Uh, I think the ranks are a little bit bugged. Some names got removed or or aren't showing up or something. So I don't actually know exactly, but it's not reset time yet. Check the leaderboard. They rounded the skill points. Oh, so they so there's a, another bug I don't even know about. I'm worried my Leroy shall be lost in the not good enough for YouTube vault. I hope, I hope it's good enough. I presume we can win this game, and it'll be a nice, slow, lo-fi music, vibing, Capitals game, where we take the W. We're just zoned out talking to chat. That's a good video. If we, if we get there. I mean, I have to pee, so maybe we never get there. Plus, I, I was having a fight with a fly. Like, who doesn't want to watch that on YouTube? When is the next tournament? Uh, January 9th. Is registration open for the official free-for-all championship uh, so seven days next Monday uh, registration will be open for that and uh, the kill Pete strategy is gonna have a YouTube video advertising it and the links 
And I'm probably going to post a video advertising it as well. And all the Twitch streams, people are going to be shouting it out. You'll have like a full week, one or two weeks to register. You'll have plenty of time to get into it. Legends sign up start late February. Yeah, Legends is going to start. The tournament itself will start sometime in March. But the signups are going to be late February. So you have the free-for-all tournament and then Legends tournament. And then actually, there's going to be... There's lots of free-for-all tournaments coming. So I wonder if Black's botting out now. Did he get smacked? No, he's just bored maybe. I do have 120 seconds to pee. You make a very valid point. I'm slightly concerned about it botting me out at this... I think 60 seconds it like auto-bots you out. I might be wrong. But if it auto bots me out at 60 seconds and the bot the bot would maybe roll this cap. Although it's medium, so it might not. But it also might fortify a bunch of off cap. I think if I waste 60 seconds of my turn and then I go pee, I should be good. Sorry, I missed a question. Uh What is JJ Bre's best mode? Like Pete is progressive, champ would be fixed. JJ's best? I don't know, maybe... JJ's pretty decent all around. I'd say, I guess, probably Progressive would be his stronger suit. He plays a lot of Progressive Capitals. Um, he likes Progressive Zombies, Progressive World Dumb, Progressive 70. I'd, I'd say he's more uh, Progressive-oriented. Who's the free-for-all champ right now? Uh, Fanti. I believe it's Fanti. No, yeah, not under the gun. Yeah, Fanti. Fredward got it. Be aware, there are rumors of a new Grandmaster in town. Let's do it. JJ's best would be play with friends, pass, and play. Is that because there's no bots in that mode, Hanny? I don't even know what I'd consider my best game style is. I play everything. I'm not really, like, a specialist in one area. My best game mode is Epic Comebacks, baby! I want to make the Spin the Wheel tournament. I wish I had the time. You are back. I will fuck you up. Okay, you're gone again. I need better eyesight, man. I need to get LASIK. Ding, ding, ding. You got it in one? Yeah, no bots, so JJ's better at it. Saber with the spin the wheel tournament. That sounds fun. Kyle's best game is beating odd job. You had a typo there, good hair. Beating odd job, not being. Are you a bigger fan of caps? Um, so caps are, I have a very strong opinion on caps. Caps is an incredibly broken game mode and not not viable in tournament play, in my opinion. Um, Capital Conquest is also a lot of fucking fun to play, and it gives you a lot of opportunity to exert your skill over people that are less skilled. Like there's a lot of a lot of wiggle room for plays and manipulation and, and stuff. There's a lot of stuff you can do in caps that you can't do in just standard world dom. And it's it's harder for people to kill you as a better player. So Capitals is, it's great if you're playing against newer players or average skill or decent players. But if you have six top level players playing Caps, it's broken. It, it doesn't function. It's not a, it's not a competitively viable format. So like, I love it for this example, like this kind of a game, although not this kind of game specifically, but <laughs> Caps in Ranked I love, but uh, Caps in Competitive I don't. Because who wants to sit down and play for 10 hours and be like, like, I can stay up all night, so you guys should suicide or disconnect, because I have a good internet connection. How the fuck is Black still alive? He had two caps defended by four troops, because nobody saw what happened in there. Nobody knew. Yeah, you can survive noob suicides. That's the one benefit of caps that other game modes don't have. 
Because in a non-cap game, if a noob suicides you, there's no recovering, usually. Unless you have progressive... Unless it's progressive and you have a set. And some fortunate luck. And other people don't capitalize on the suicide, yeah. Double tap that. Thanks for the uh, follow, bro. I hate this fly. I guess if I played the four best on the free for all leaderboard, I would need hours to win it. Yeah, you would, Gando. It'd be a, it'd be a attrition battle, right? Who can last the longest? Who has no life for the next twenty hours? I'm actually really happy <laughs> that Red is letting me hold the bonus like this. Just getting suicided is a winning move sometimes. Yeah, it, it actually is. Is the only reason it's not viable and competitive is because it lasts too long? So like this, again, this is, so this is just not like, it's not like, don't treat it like gospel. It's just my opinion, but that it's not viable for competitive. But in my experience and in every way I've looked at it and every time I've seen it played, if you have six equal skilled players, high level players in Capital Conquest, at some point people don't want to fight. Because anytime you're losing troops, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. So a lot of the time, the best move... Oh, I can kill you now. I got him! Fuck you! Dead! I got that motherfucker. I snapped his neck on the ground. So, sorry, uh, in capitals, when you get to those stages, um, a lot of the time your best move, the most optimal move for you to make is to take a card by hitting a one and then stack all your troops on your capital and pass your turn. And if that's the most optimal move to make and you're in a competitive environment where first place matters and you really want to win and all six players are willing to do that, all six players will hit a one and put all their troops in their capital and pass their turn. And then six players will do that. And they have done that for 12, 13, 14 hours straight in tournaments. And it's like, cool, who's gonna sit here for 14 hours taking a card and stacking all their troops in the capital? And how do you progress a game like that? The only way to do that is to attack other people's capitals. And you risk losing a shitload of troops. And then when you're the weakest, you're the person that's gonna get tag teamed and killed. So the best idea is don't do that. Just keep stacking until other people get bored and do dumb things. So to me, that's not competitively viable. Like, why should... A, a risk game should not be decided by that. Your next risk game should be Fly Killer. <laughs> Slappy McSlapperstein with the Fly KO. Bro, you guys got all the names for me. I love it. <laughs> Slappy McSlapperstein. Carried Fly Killer. The Gospel of the Lord. Yeah, Newt. <laughs> I have strong opinions, but I don't want anybody to ever take them as, like, gospel or something. Like, I just, I, I, I see the game the way I see it, and I'm, I'm very expressive in my opinions. Other people love capitals and competitive, and we get to watch some five- and six-hour games, and I have to play some of them occasionally. What tourney was it where it got ridiculous on caps? All of them, pretty much. Pretty much every tournament that's involved caps has had five-, six-hour games. Um, so what they've done is, because they still want caps, is they put it in round one or two. So it's like one or two high-skilled players with a bunch of newer players, so they can actually press the advantage and capitalize, etc. But if you take that Capitals game and put it in round six, when all the people that have fought through the tournament have got that far in the tournament, and they've put six weeks in, and it means a lot to them, and they're really good, that's the game that's going to last 15 hours every single time. Have you considered stacking Argentina so you don't freak out yellow too much? I I haven't. It's not a terrible idea. The, the one thing I am concerned with, like say I put 30 troops in Argentina. Oh, Argentina is yeah, even better than Peru. But like say I put 30 troops and Red just comes down to take a look. And he hits my 30 stack. It'd be a nice good hit for him, honestly. 
any of my troops off cap getting hit is actually pretty beneficial for red. I actually don't dislike that idea at all, though. Like, as far as, like, then yellow would put less here and wouldn't be as worried. But I guess uh, he can be worried about me. He's got other stuff to deal with. I'm not... I don't want ever to be low on my cap. Sorry, I gotta scroll down a bit. I hate caps so much I play Europe Advanced without them. <laughs> I hate Europe Advanced World Dom because it's stalemate. I think World Dom Progressive stalemates on Europe Advanced more than caps does. Just that map. Whatever reason. Does no one set up card blocks? So they do. But then there's the other thing of like, if you set up six players playing for only first place and you set up a card block on one person and they lose no matter what they're gonna suicide one of you and if it's a voice chat tournament or or something like that they're gonna make it clear they're gonna suicide you so you, then you can't card block them because then you lose they'll go they'll get sixth and you'll get fifth even in a non-voice chat tournament if you uh go to card block them they can take all their troops off the cap and then Nobody else is going to hit that stack, and then they run that stack into you. They can give the cap to whoever they want, and then they just suicide whoever they want. Like, if, if you're going to end someone's game that deep in a tournament in capitals, you're probably going to get ended as well. So, it, like, it just really screws you up. I, I think if capitals had a limit, like, say, you could only put up to 50 troops on a capital maximum... Like, then we'd have, like, a game mode where capitals could be viable. And then you'd be playing around and min-maxing around the, the 50 cap limit. And cap runs and, and the fights would break out. It'd be... That'd be an entirely different game mode that would probably be viable on so many maps. Pete agrees with you? Yeah, on caps... Pete and I both have very similar opinions on caps. And we both very feel... We both feel very strongly that we're right about it. And everybody else just wants to play them anyways. And problem with card blocks in public games is not a lot understand and give someone cards when you want them to take a card. So, yeah, some some noobs see like, oh, you got a bunch of 20 stacks. I'm just going to start hitting them. And you're like, no, I was card blocking him. White is outproducing you and can get cards if yellow wanted to not worry. White? Yeah, well, yellow is outproducing you. Oh, yeah, they could... He could match it. I, My game is over. He he has to know I'm zero carding and stacking this capital and that's it. And I have this and nothing else. So as long as he keeps us... Uh, he's actually slightly concerned though. Hmm. Maybe I'll put some in Argentina. No, I really don't want to. I should pay attention if people are fighting. Uh, red's getting 11. Pink's getting yeah, 10, 8, 9. 8, 9, 10, 11, and I'm getting 7. So we're getting 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And I don't get cards. But I'm not going to be fighting. At what stage do you decide to not put a game on YouTube? I guess if it's extremely boring. Or, or there's not a lot of chat going on. Like if I'm not streaming and talking to people. Um, and I was playing this game. It, there's no chance it would make it to YouTube. This game could get super interesting. If, if two people fight and I get out, this game could turn into like the most interesting shit in the world and we could have an hour long of interesting fight at any point. I don't know everybody's skill levels, so that could happen theoretically. And us chatting it makes this a lot less boring than uh, it otherwise would, right? I think a lot of people that watch Risk, they throw it on while they're like doing other things as well. So it's maybe they just tune it in for my sexy voice. Okay, now I'm peeing.
What? It's not even my turn yet. <laughs> also, so say this game makes it to YouTube. You know what we could do? We could also promote Arco's channel. Usually it's the yellow player that starts. So now I'm, I'm taking your advice. I really like that idea. Hide troops. Red is shown no interest in coming in, so hide some troops so yellow has a chance to put troops somewhere else. Red got 17 this turn. Black gets 3, red gets 17. Black gets 3. Okay. Maybe I'm going to put my troops back on the cap then. Thank you for letting me know that. <laughs> Action starts happening when I'm peeing. What's up, Jasic? Jasic? Probably told this already, but do you have any New Year's resolutions regarding streaming? Uh, nothing regarding streaming. I kind of made a, uh, a community post on YouTube kind of talking about it. Like, everybody's got, like, all these different goals they want for New Year's. It's like, I want to I want to get in better shape. I want to eat better. I want to call my mom more and tell her I love her. I want to save money better. I want to go on vacation. I want to, I don't know, I want to bang more women. I want to get a girlfriend, whatever. Everybody wants, like, all these different goals. My goal is just rediscover my self-discipline because I've lost it. I feel like if you have strong enough discipline, you're going to accomplish all the goals that you set for yourself. You just wake up in the morning. Eat something healthy as opposed to something not healthy. Go to the gym. Work hard. Work some overtime. Save your money. Like, if, you're, if you discover your discipline, you can do all of those things. You should just make yourself do it. So I'm really just working on one thing, and I think everything else will come in, come into play from that. Yellow has to guard in case I go bonkers. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I got 17 again. How is black not dead? If black's getting three, it means red has Indonesia and Western Australia. Is he just leaving Black trapped in New Guinea? Did he go here? Is he zero carding in New Guinea? No, he's attacking. He attacked, right? He took a card? I'm not sure what's happening. Yellow's just stacking here no matter what. Sorry if I missed some chats. <clears throat> Stumbino, what's up, big boy? How's it going? What mode has the most skill? I don't love caps either, but it seems like that's what the best players are playing right now and learning and getting better. Or you like learning and getting better? The mode that has the most skill? I, that, that'd be really hard for me to... to uh, Quantify, I guess. Like, there's there's skill in all, all the different game types. And different types of skill. I don't know. I, I know a big part of why people are playing caps right now is because it's the easiest thing to do well in the ranking. Because uh, it's the easiest to recover from if somebody suicides you. Um, so it's the easiest one to protect your rank points from going down. And even if you can't win the game, it's reasonably easy to get into a position where you take second. And that at least is like a net neutral. So uh, that's the main reason most people are playing caps. Yeah, Gando explained it. Sorry, I'm probably way back. Killed at the Philosopher. I'm definitely way back in the chat. I'm sorry. Be a disciple of discipline. Yeah, watch some Jocko. I think it doesn't matter what I do. Yellow's going to keep stacking his cap. So I don't want my troops over here. God, when he calls me big boy. I haven't seen you in a bit, Stumbino. You have a good holidays, bro? I don't know what has happened yet. Do you want to give a resume? A resume? Red has most of Asia. I think red has two capitals in Indonesia and Western Australia. Black has one position, and I think it's New Guinea. No, he must be up here. He must be... 
Black must be single stacking in Asia. Red must have Australia. Because what is it? He's at 17, right? So he's getting um, five for North America, nine for the two caps. Two caps and a bonus here is what? Two, four, six. So that's 15. No, he must not have this. Because he's also got more than 12 territories, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. He's only got three capitals, actually. Sorry. He's got this. He doesn't have two capitals up here. There's only one capital in North America. That's where my mistake was. So black single stacking in Asia, it sounds like. What do you think about a mechanic where you can partially resign to be second or third? So you flag second, and if there are only two players remaining, you automatically lose and get second, so that makes alliances more trustworthy? But then people would... What happens if two people flag for second? You shouldn't be able to resign and then claim a position later on that hasn't been claimed yet. Like, there shouldn't be four people alive and you can claim second by partially resigning? I don't understand. Okay, NA, five. It's three caps. That's 11. Right? And then this is, is two more. So that's 13. So he's getting four for his territories. That makes most sense. So Red's got this, a cap in Australia or Alaska. I'm pretty sure it's Alaska. It could be Northwest or Alberta or Ontario, but it, it's probably Alaska. And then he's got these two caps and this bonus. So he's got a, a sizable number on Indonesia. And pink and yellow are just chickens. They're just sitting here doing nothing. All right, we got a long one. I hate it when a player doesn't start up and they become a neutral bot. Yeah. If somebody doesn't ready, it should be an automated bot every time, even if you have the neutral bot setting. And then anybody that leaves mid-game should be a neutral bot, but anybody going into the game should just be a regular bot, if they don't ready up, because it's not the player playing, it's the bot. Also, bots are not broken in six-player. Bots are broken in the three-player endgame. I have a secret recipe for winning games. Something to get mentally prepared. Is it Coke? It's Pepsi. It's playing a song. Ooh. Okay, let me scroll down a bit. Had a great time last night. Thanks for dinner. My back's a little sore. Oh, sorry. You think people should be awarded points if they bought out early and their bot gets second? Not really. Why is nobody doing anything interesting? It should be a toggle to choose what happens when a player doesn't run it. Yeah, because the neutral AI thing, if somebody doesn't ready going into a neutral AI game, they're essentially adding troops to infinity in, in all their positions forever. So the game ends up with them having like a bunch of 30 or 40 stacks all over the board. Like extra blizzards. That you can move through, but it's incredibly painful. Crush them by Megadeth. Is it, you listen to that and then you just rip people in classic, uh, or not classic, but in progressive. People still use the bot-up strats for neutral? They do. It's a lot more risky, though, because of the 10-minute timer, and uh, I think losing connection and reconnecting, that can screw up your game <clears throat> to the point where you can't get back in. And then you just lose. Yeah, but, like definitely you can still use that. You can use it as a way to bait your opponents into fighting. Whereas before, you could just leave in a three-way stalemate, and they would suicide each other, and your bot could almost just win. If you had expert bots on. It's 
Somebody who bots out should get the worst placement available at the time of them botting out. Yeah. Well, the problem is some people do have connectivity issues and like they do, you don't want to punish like the majority of people play on their phone on Wi-Fi or, or wherever they might not have the best reception. So if their internet cuts out for a little bit, like they should be allowed to reconnect. It'd be bad to just instantly forfeit them if they lost connection at all. I think a lot of people probably struggle with a little bit of connectivity sometimes. We doing some play with friends so I can play on laptop? Maybe, I'm not sure. Did your girlfriend throw up on New Year's? No, she did good. She lasted the whole night. All the girls lasted all night. We made it back to the bottom of chat. Let's go. Boomer Deb. Have a good one, Romans. Have a good night. Gando, the last time you forgot to play that song, you lost. So you actually have like a, a ritual. Hockey players have rituals and they're very superstitious like that too. You gotta put their state skates on a certain way. Their stick has to be taped a certain way. Weird stuff like that. Okay, Yellow's fighting. Yellow's actually doing stuff. Somehow my peripheral caught that. What's he actually doing though? He's thinking. You can see the general scratching his eye. Well, maybe he's meaning to do this. Or he's doing this. He's talking about the kill Pete strategy's penis. Or he's scratching his eye. Now he's now he's falling asleep. No, he's doing this again. Do something, bro. <laughs> make sure make your song Scrubs by TLC and you won't lose to any scrubs. What the fuck? Hi, first time here. Came from YouTube. I like your vids. Hey, what's up? Zayham. Like mayhem, but Zayham? That's a cool name. Welcome. Masturbating would be nice content for YouTube. Another fun dynamic. What? Master bait, like baiting people into... I try to bait people into fighting if I can. So nothing on the board has changed. I don't think. Well, something changed. Uh, Black is dead. I'm in top four! I'm hoping the conversation is interesting enough that the folks on YouTube enjoy it as well. Because I would love to post this. It'll be a nice, long, relaxing game where we talk about the state of risk a little bit and different game modes and New Year's stuff. Hey, what's up, Buck? Happy New Year, sir. You spoke a change into existence? I did. Red still gets 17? Okay. Okay, so black dies, and now these guys are going to three-way trade in Asia for infinity, and I have a 169 over here. I mean, they're, they're going to fight. I'm not fightable. Like, the only way I die is if one of these people puts 300-plus troops on one of these caps and hits me, or one of these stacks and hits me. And for them to do that, they'd be risking so much on the rest of the board. They're not that far ahead of me that they can do that. Arco strat, but with a bonus? Well, yeah, we kind of got screwed into this corner through uh, a bit of a mistake on my behalf. So it actually makes a lot of sense to me why red... Yeah, he's going to not have the bon let me have the bonus anymore or what? Do I zero card without the bonus? Nah. I'll take a card. I'm not even gonna break his North America! Not even gonna break his North America. I am your best friend, Red. Go to war! I, now it doesn't matter. If I can take cards, that's perfectly fine. Nobody's killing me for five cards on 176 troops on a cat. Yellow's still getting eight. A true gentleman. <laughs> it 
If someone tells me a secret and tells me that I can't tell a soul, does that mean that I can tell a ginger? Maybe. Is Red's cap... I bet you Red's cap is more like Northwest Territory then. If yellow can get in here, Red's cap is not Alaska. I will find out where it is if we don't get like a power outage or something. Yellow's hidden red. My plan is working. We're gonna win. <clears throat> I killed that fly and I'm gonna kill these punks. Yo, Zayham, welcome to the stream. Oh, that's not even a follow. That's a subscribe. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. I have recently gotten a whole bunch of cool Twitch emotes. So feel free to check them out. I got some Pepe the Frog. Got some trolley ones. I got a D's Nuts emote. YouTube can't see that, though. Was he checking to see how much was on your cap? I'm not quite sure. He might have been. Uh, red got nine. Pink got five. People are fighting. Oh, Ali Eldris, thank you for the subscribe also. I appreciate that. Check those emotes out. Yeah, there's a D's Nuts emote. It's so good. And the, this is fine emote. I got some high quality ones. Mallory helped me uh, pick them out. Red is stuck in Australia at war with yellow. Yeah, I, I wonder if Red's stuck in Australia. Nine, nine troops is Australia. Man, you guys are paying way more attention than me. But he's hitting stuff. I think it's time for me to go out and take a peek. Just a little peeky peek. Watch kill to get second. We're taking first, bro. We're taking first. What's up, K-Man? Thank you for the follow. I wonder if you've got more than one account. I'm pretty sure I've seen K-Man follow in in the chat a bunch of times before. Yeah, he's just checking like, no, I'm still doing my thing, bro. Don't worry about me. Don't you worry about me at all. I'm just doing my thing. We're getting cards again. I mean, I'd rather... I mean, if you hold the bonus... Oh, we got 69 viewers. We got it. Boomer Deb? I don't know how you're supposed to do it. You're like... I think that's close. Robot arms. Bend at the right angle. So much for the Arco strat. Well, no, we're, we're doing a, a Power Ranger build where Arco and I are joining forces to be one. <laughs> I'm hitting your 30. Yellow started with seven. He doesn't have his bonus. Oh, yeah. That dab. I know, I'm like a boomer, man. What's up, Zayam? Thank you for the follow. Dropping a sub before following, I like it. Thank you. How's Yellow getting seven? Uh, territories. So five uh, would be less than 12 territories and a cap, but say he's got 17 or... Sorry, 18 plus territories. 18, 19, or 20 territories, he'd be getting... Uh... Where's my math? Yeah, five plus two more. Sorry, 15, 16, or 17 would be uh, seven troops. You can tell I don't play caps that much. We're still at 69 viewers. I'm not boomer dabbing again. Yeah, he, he could have had a second cap, but I don't think so. Red's getting 10 now, so he's got territories. I want to go look in North America. One of them is fighting a 2v1. I kind of want to go looking. I can move 60 troops out and take a pixie. That's enough of a peek. That's enough. 
that's all we need. A little bit of that. Pink tile equal peeping Tom. Yeah. Little peeky peek. A peek tease? I know you guys want to see more than that, don't you? You got you got to visualize it. Glad I didn't lock the door. I went to the bathroom, the outside light was on and the door was unlocked. Girlfriend's going out for the night, so I'm like, oh, maybe she left. So I turned the light off and I went to lock the door. I'm like, just in case she's coming back again before she leaves. And then she just came back, so I'm glad I did not lock her out. Dave gets five. Yellow got 11. This is kind of a cool song. I never get this deep into this playlist. Usually I keep starting the playlist every stream, but it's like a 14 hour long playlist. So I stopped restarting the playlist and now I'm just playing from wherever I was. Pretty good. Maybe you can explain what's happening for those that came later. Um, Black and blue had caps here fighting to the death. Blue suicided. And then black took this cap and left my four stack. I put a, my first trade in, took the black cap. He got a 7% blitz roll, knocking me out of here and trapping me in here. And I've been zero carding the whole game until this one moment where everybody's fighting. Red had North America. Pink had a god spawn for Europe and yellow had a god spawn for Africa. So they've had these three bonuses and been trading over here all game. Can I take North America? No. All right. You're allowed to have that 30 cap. I don't need it. Where are the goggles today? You know what's up? That video I did for New Year's Eve, I changed my light so it was up higher. So I put my sunglasses on for that video. And then when I watched the video back later, I guess I brought my light down a little bit now, but I had like big shadows under here because the light was above me. So it like looked like I had black eyes. It's kind of funny. I'm like, I'm not gonna have another video with that happening. When do you introduce us to your boyfriend? Why Buck, you want me to tell everybody about you and me? 18? Red has Asia? Red has Asia. What is happening? Wasn't Red almost dead and now he has Asia? So it was a Northwest Territory cap, by the way, which is what my prediction was once I saw yellow come in. Look at that for mind reading. I kind of want to go for a little looksy pooksy. Also, what if I took North America? Oh, red is card blocking yellow there, huh? Sixty-nine troops. Why do I keep getting dudes? It's twenty twenty-three. It's not year of the dudes anymore. We're on to bigger and better things. You're out of the closet, Buck. Well, that's nice. No. I'm hiding in the closet so far that I've, I'm so far deep in there. I've got a girlfriend of five years that I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. So I'm just I'm just gonna be stuck in the closet forever, because uh, I guess it's just not interesting enough for me to hop out into the dude love category. At least something is happening in this game now. <clears throat> we are winning. If red gets 18 again, I'm gonna be absolutely mind blown. 
What'd be even better is if you rolled this cap. I think I should have put the 70 here on uh, Eastern United States, because I don't care if they break South America, honestly. What's up, noob? Happy New Year, bro. Red got 11 troops. Well, Japan, Eastern Australia, or North Africa. I think Eastern Australia is the least likely thing I'm going to hold. North Africa is even more likely than that. Hmm... Yeah, technically yellow can do stuff in here. So this isn't really a card block on him. Are they going to card block me again? Okay, there's my artillery I needed. Imagine somehow I end up with this cap too. And then I take North America and South America? Oh, you get away from me. You're a dirty boy. Yo, 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 he's going... He's going ham Donkey Kong style. Did he get fed up in suicide? The, the Okay. Turn order really matters if someone suicides. Because he goes immediately after me. It means both of these players get a chance to kill him. And take his caps, take his cards, take board position. Before I get a chance to capitalize on whatever he just did. He suicided, didn't he? Oh my god, he went crazy loco! Five. Pink's still on a cap. I bet most of this went into red, though. Wait, he did a lot of attacks. So I don't think Pink's cap is Ukraine. Pink's cap must be maybe Northern Europe? Or maybe Afghanistan? Maybe Middle East? No. It's not Middle East, because I would have saw it at the start of the game. I was here. So I think it's like Afghanistan, Ukraine. Or sorry, Afghanistan or Northern Europe. Or like one of these two. Somehow he got through here, and I think he made it to Asia going up and around. He had a lot of attacks. Bleh. Northern Europe would make the most sense by now. Yeah, just like maybe he did like the full loopy loop around him. Gave him the full reach around sandwich. It's the only way he gets through. <clears throat> Leader has four out of six. That's a very fair point. I have one. So red doesn't have a cap. Red doesn't have a cap. Yellow went nuts on his ass. Oh my god, open my 72. Let me out. Take this cap, fortify this in. I don't want to hit a cap. I don't want to hit a cap. Silently is paying better attention than me. I'm not watching the cap total. That's the one downside where chat's popping off and I'm just reading chat the whole time. I do miss a bunch of stuff. I would love to see this game without fog. Too bad you couldn't watch a replay without fog to kind of see what's happening. Did Red bot? Red botted. Move your 55 out and open my 72 or something. We got you though. Thank you. <laughs> now blaming chat. Silently, thank you for the follow, bro. Oh, and the subscribe. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. I'm trying to stream more often. I'm going to be trying to get the streaming back to three or four days a week. Like I was doing uh, prior. Don't 
necessarily do that. No, I don't want a dude. I want a cavalry. And I got triple dudes again. Shiny pants. Thank you for the follow, bro. Oh, replays for next year? That'd be really nice. Yeah. Yellow got 17. Please, for the love of God, Dave, I hope you did stuff. Or you do stuff. Red's quit now. Dave still gets five. You can't let yellow just run you over like this. I'm signaling attack. That's like my first emote all game. Go, big dick. Slap yellow in the taint. Make it gross and sticky. Keep going. Oh, baby. Dude, and if yellow lost a lot of troops on red, I'm probably troop leader right now. I'm probably troop leader. Problem is, I need this red 55 to go away so I can get through and see what's out here. I need to get into here. I need the action to join, and I don't want to go through the 85. He heard you and was inspired? Hey, maybe that emote worked. I can drop like 40 troops off this. That is helpful. That is helpful. I appreciate that. I am getting a cavalry right now, though. There's a cavalry on that card. What did yellow get? 16. Ugh, come on. <laughs> Is he going to double tap my cap? Because that would be a bad play. It would be a very bad play to double tap that. He just breaks it. Okay. I'm fine with that. Because the thing that that does is it means this cap's even lower. So I have a better chance of getting a good roll on this cap. Dave's getting 10. He's got his Europe back. Now, please keep hitting yellow. If I get yellow out of here, that's really good. Uh, a couple attacks. If red can fortify more out, what I want to do is hit this cap, send a little bit up here, and ideally have enough to take the 28 out, but I don't think I'll have enough left over. It'll depend on my role. It the role will mean everything. Also, red is the big trade, so he wasn't worth killing. Seems like he's adding in here, though. Finding stacks here. Fortify the 28 out. Hit it! What you do now, Kilted, is move your stack one to the right. What? Instead of hitting him? I kind of want to get in on this action. Please, good dice. That was decent. 69 left over.
And we needed a cavalry. Let's go. Okay. Yellow's down to 14. And if he wants to get in and retaliate on me, he's got to go through a lot of red troops. Red is also now blocking for me. Thank you, bro. You need to work with me, Pink. Stop bending over for this yellow guy. He's not taking too many. 20 at max. Yeah, 10. He's not lowering that enough that I'm going to... Yeah, red might hit my territories, which is fine. The four trade. One attack. Two attacks. Counting on the bottom here. A, a two, a three on one. And a one on one. What are you rolling? It's like he added his ten troops, or, or he added five troops somewhere, and then rolled a couple ones, and then it took, a, it took a six deck as far as he could. Into the middle of nowhere. So yellow's got this, but he's also got a cap in Indonesia and Western Australia, and he's got a big number on Indonesia probably protecting this nine. And this guy's not even breaking his Africa, which is very frustrating. Break his Africa. Do I hit the 28? I kind of want to. No. 14, man. Very disappointed in you, Pink. <laughs> Red needs to get the hell out of there. It's the bot. The bot does not want to move. The bot stacks are usually very sticky on capitals. So if you have a big stack on a capital and a bot comes into it, it, it usually doesn't really want to move troops away from that stack. Unless there's another big capital and stack is near also. Like if the bot gets to a position where it takes cards, it would take cards around this cap while still touching it instead of coming down. It would go in and it, it would hug the capital with all of its troops staying on it. Just the weird way they like to... Capitals are like glue to them. Yes, five. He broke Europe. Yellow is breaking Europe. Go to war. The question is, I need to go out right now just in case Pink suicided. Right? If Pink suicides and I don't pay attention and don't notice it, then yellow gets to reap all the benefit of that, right? He'll get the he'll get the one turn to reap uh to take the kill, take the cards, take the position, take the capitals. If I capture if, if he does suicide and I get the chance to capture on that. Also, I don't know how big red is. Like if red's hurting at all, if red's at like 50 troops, he's he's not quite worth killing, but Good roll. An eight cap? Bro, what is going on right now? Greenland or Japan? This won't have access to me.
Okay. Okay. So did I pick the right time to go ham? 28. And this cap is going to get bigged up a little bit. Oh my. Things are happening. This game looks so winnable right now. You just got to do what you got to do. No big trade. Yeah, he's going to... No, he's, he's not even looking. He's going straight to North America. It's okay. By the time he gets there, that's not a good roll. 23 on 14 is not good. 22 on 14 is even worse. He thought I didn't protect it, but I protected it just enough. Just enough for him to add to that 20 and go look. Yeah. Having an 8 cap and pink's such a girl he won't even go look, you pussy. What does pink have? Like, a 150 on Northern Europe and not moving with it? No, he's got less than that. Look at this guy. He got so mad he hit everything. That's okay. Come on, hit yellow. Hit the 15. Be a big boy. Oh, I thought he was going to for a second. But you're hitting... You're hitting me? You just blocked your troops. You're rolling three on ones. Okay. So he's doing exactly what I saw when he was doing the blitzing three on ones and two on ones. Okay. Nice dick twist. Yeah, thank you for the dick twist, um, by the way. I just uh, caught up on that. So, if I can just get into a 1v1 with yellow, I win, right? He's got a 15 here. Um, he Wait, pink actually opened it so his 15 can come back in. That's kind of annoying. Well, I got an idea for that. Let's not let it in. Let's do perfect sliders, because we got the, all the time in the goddamn world to do it. Make that a 70? What if he has a... Say he gets a 10 and a 10 trade, a 20, 105. That's fine. Oh, we did get an artillery. Yeah, it gets 8... I'm accounting for him to have a 10 trade and just, like, a plus 2, and then, yeah, he did have the 10 trade. <clears throat> I didn't want to fortify more off of this. He can go 19 on 18 if he really wants. He's not. We hold North America, South America, Australia, and four caps right now. And we have the big trade. We're putting it in their butt. Oh, baby. Oh, you're trapped. I'm so sorry. I didn't open up Kamchatka. You can sit in your tuxk and your urkuk urkuk tuxk. Glorious! Oh, this game's getting pretty sexy. Now I can come sit in Kamchatka with a fucking hundred troops or whatever. Oh, you're fortifying to here? Yeah, he's so worried about this. I don't care. Because my next card is going to be on Kamchatka. And I'm going to combine this three with this 18 with my 20 whatever, with my trade, and all of that's gonna sit right here. And he's not coming through that, and I just have to build and build, and it's, I'm gonna run them over. The trains are rolling and you guys are fucked. Presumably, I mean, if Pink has a 100 stack on a cap, and he decides to come through and hit all of this, that would suck. So I mean, it's not, it's not over. But it's looking mighty fun. Take the plus two on Brazil also. Oh, nice play. Okay. I'm not risking him hitting the hitting the stack. 
I will let him break. He can break me one turn because immediately I'm going to come back with the stack. So that's fine. If he gets a good roll on a 50 on 50, I probably still have a really big advantage, but I don't want to go through that. I'll just let him do what he does. Go ahead. Have fun. Because his total troops are 50 and 67. And maybe he's got 15 on Middle East, but I don't think so. I actually thought there was a small chance he kept troops up here. I didn't realize he actually did it, though. <laughs> this is YouTube-worthy now, I think. But here's the fun thing. I'm just going to come right back out. Where's your 44 going? Not, It's not going to Kamchatka, I bet. Because I'll hit it. <laughs> if it goes to Kamchatka, I'm hitting it. And if it goes further back, I'm just going to full stack Alaska. Whatever way this works for you, it's not going to be good. I probably should have zero carded and stacked Alaska, honestly. He does go there. Okay. Have a good night. Have fun. But four caps is eight. And a bonus is ten. 73. Bing slap. Yep, go away. Thank you. Just going to trade this. No trade? Just in case pink comes through. It's my only worry. Yellow already can't get through the 15. I mean, if he gets god dice, sure, but... If he screws this up, I don't know if he gets a... Oh, he gets, he's going to take a card and try a 9 on 15? He knows I'll hit his stack now. Okay, I'll just hit his 9. I'll stack on the 15, hit his 9, and back up. <clears throat> the problem is if yellow suicides, pink goes first before me. I don't know how strong pink is on his cap. Okay, it's just a 10 stack. That's not bad. Pink just attacks a lot of territories. I'm not too scared of him. Yellow has to die next. He has to get third. Okay, we got double dudes again. No, it's not year of the dudes. It's year of the big trades. Doesn't a train need multiple participants? I am the multiple participants on this one. Sorry, I missed a bunch of chat. I'm just like zoned out on the game with the music. I completely forgot we got a bunch of people happening right now. Oh, yellow. That's not going to work for you. Are you going to go up and hit the 28 with your 18? That's not going to work for you. You leaving your cat? <laughs> you big stupid! You know what's gonna happen now. He really wants to fight me to the death. The problem is pink's getting really strong while I'm fighting yellow, but I am getting a lot of troops for my turn. Oh, we're up to 84 viewers. Hell yeah! What's up, everybody? Hope you're having a good time. 23 troops. What do we do with our 23 troops? Oh, devil face? Oh, yeah, yeah. Here, I got a devil face for you.
That was a bad roll. So yellow gets to come in and break me now. I thought about putting the four or five troops on Alberta, so when he comes in, he, he kind of gets stuck here, and he won't get South America. He can get South America now if his dice don't screw him. They're doing good. Yep, he needs to lose. Yeah, that's very unlikely to lose a five on one into a three on one. Yellow is definitely suiciding within the next couple turns. Yeah, quite, quite likely. Because he doesn't have a trade, and I can drop this down to a 50 and bring that 27 troops up to here, bring the three in. He's blitzing two on ones. He's definitely fed up. And I have this backup 30. Pink getting 10 is like kind of worrisome. Pink getting 10 a turn and then having a trade now. But I mean, he's also attacking. No, I, I think he's got a big cap. I would not be surprised if pink has like 150 cap or something crazy. Maybe more. It'd be hilarious to see him take this yellow cap. I would laugh so hard. I'm mad I watched the whole game. Now I can't watch it on YouTube. Apologies, sir. Why not take from the Brazil cap? Why well, am I'm going to take the Brazil cap and go up. If you mean take his cap, I don't need to hit his cap right now. If you notice, every couple turns, he's taking troops off the cap, and I'm hitting them when they're not on the cap. So I don't need to hit the cap, because he's going to pull troops off to fight. He's fighting me up here. Did you bot? Pink's botted? If he doesn't come back, it's so done. It's so done. Dunzoed. Although, if you can't watch it on YouTube, you could always let it play on YouTube and let the ads run, you know? I think I make like $7,000 every time you watch a single ad. Maybe not 7000 Boom. Oh, he's like, oh no, he's going to roll my cap. And the answer to that is, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. 700, oh yeah, 700,000 per ad. Sorry, I thought it was 7,000. 700,000. 70,000. 17 million. I'm leaving to make a channel. <laughs> Everybody make your own YouTube channel. It's, it's, a, it's quite a lot of money. Oh my God. I would, guys, you wouldn't be able to feel bad if I made $7,000 every time somebody saw a single ad. I would retire relatively quick. I'd be already retired. And like, you, you could you really blame me? <laughs> Dave's not here, man. What's up, Wicker Mid? Any of you guys older like me and you used to watch the old school like Cheech and Chong videos? Hey, it's me, Dave. Open up. Let me in. Dave's not here, man. Never I need your content forever. Thank you, bro. Dwayne with the resub. What's up, man? Thank you. I appreciate it. Make this a 20. Should I just go searching and see what Pink's got going on now? That he's a bot. We found his capital! Alright. Looking pretty good. Yo, we got fucking Prime subs popping off, guys. I really appreciate all the subs today. Visix, thank you for the sub, man. I appreciate that you think I'm worth your prime. If I'm yellow, I'm killing pink to take second. That would be very smart for him. You should kill pink and take second because you're not getting first. The smart play is kill pink right now. Because if I kill you... Oh, you're suiciding me. Okay, you did not make the smart play, so we're going to teach you how to play smart. I will teach you. You have got third place. In this game, 
Yellow could have killed pink and taken second. It is very clear with my five caps and all my troops that I win. But instead of killing pink and taking second, he wants to go to war with me. You have no chance of beating me. You've seen what kind of player I am. So now, due to this atrocity of a performance idea you had, does that even make sense what I just said? I don't think it makes sense. But due to that, you're going to get third now. Third! Wait, I need pink to take your cap. I'm going to make the pink bot take your cap, and then I'm going to kill you. <laughs> no, the pink bot's taking this goddamn cap, and then I'm going to... It's going to... Yes! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was all Pink's troops hiding in Western Europe. Juicy, juicy. <laughs> Yo, uh, William and Nullaro Nullarami? Nullaromi? Thank you guys for the follows. Appreciate it. What a brilliant game. Where are the 150 troops? Okay, it was 50. 50 on Western Europe. I had to be cautious. He really didn't do well with his troops. That's for sure. All right, Yellow. Now we punish you for your insolence. No longer caring about the slider, because we don't need to. I will not understand not taking second place when you had it. Oh, maybe he couldn't because of that 50 stack. I don't know. Whatever. And we'll just do a little bit of a reach around sandwich. Beautiful game. There you go, Dave. You get the nice, beautiful second. Even though you had a god spawn and you took Europe right away. Dude, how long was this game? Almost two hours? Jesus. Are you here? Dave's back! He bought it out! He did the bought out strategy! You son of a bitch! I should have gave you third. I should have put it in your butt. Gave you third place. Look at this cap run! Look at this pussy boy with a cap. Dave, I hope you hear me in the future. I hope you're watching this. I should have gave you third place, you pussy ass bitch. <laughs> but you know what? You get second. Good for you. Not only did you use the bot out strategy, you were too scared to fight the leader. I'm pretty sure when Red was bullying everybody, Yellow was the one that took him down. Pretty sure. Oh, do I stall you? Should I just do that? Be a real kind fella? Wow. I'm just kidding. I would never do that. That is very douchey. <laughs> Good game. Guerrilla War. Guerrilla Warfare. We used Guerrilla Warfare. We hid in the Amazon. Right? The Amazon's in Brazil. We hid in the Amazon jungle until our opponents were weak enough for us to come out and fight them. And fight them we did. Blue was a novice. Pink, beginner. What a surprise, Dave. You're a goddamn beginner. Red, intermediate. <laughs> Black, beginner. What a surprise. Black, you're goddamn beginner. Yellow, intermediate. Black rolled me with a 7% cap roll and clapped my butt cheeks in Australia. Never fight for Australia. Uh, great game. If you, somehow you stuck through this whole game and you join me from YouTube, thank you for that. Please subscribe to my channel. We're only a few subscribes away from 17 million. And I know I keep saying that, but it, we're really getting close. Like, I'm not watching the ticker, but like it, it's really close. I can feel it, right, in my gut. So, uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out and take care.